past experience. You just wrote, we did what we had to do. <laughs> well, I just didn't want to hang out with people like my mom all day. Sunday's a dream! Get in my car! <laughs> Hello, my name's Aaron Atkins. I'm here with stand-up comedian Kenyon Ademchik, who just did his first performance on Late Night 5, the show where comedians do their best five minutes late night style. Let's watch a clip. Please give it up for Kenyon Ademchik. <laughs> Your host, everybody. Everybody you've seen so far. Thank you. I, uh, I feel like a lot of people are pretty divided on guns, and uh, but I have a solution. I think if you post on Reddit more than once a day, you're not allowed to buy a gun. You're not allowed to buy a gun. And if you don't know what Reddit is, you get two guns. That's your big. <laughs> you just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> I don't understand why we can't stop more of these mass shooters, though, because they're all nerds. Those are the easiest people to stop, right? <laughs> we should just make the safety on every gun a bra strap, is what we should do. <laughs> right? And just make the background check one question. Did you go to prom? <laughs> you know what I mean? understand. If Veronica said no, why the hell should Uncle Sam say yes? I have that. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, I've been trying to improve myself recently. I even tried going to therapy, but I called the place. They told me it would be about $150 an hour. I'm like, well, I guess I'll just get over it then. I guess I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. That glass is half full. My dad was always there for me, so... <laughs> like $150 an hour. The only way a crazy person could afford that is if all the voice in your head got a part-time job. This would be the only way to pull that off. I think sometimes it makes sense to be depressed though, right? Like, I walk dogs during the day. Be weird if I was happy, right? <laughs> just wake up every day picking up dog shit, like every day's a gift, every day's a gift. Just wouldn't make any sense at all, now would <laughs> it? Uh, things are kind of looking up for me though. I'm in a, I'm in a new relationship and it, it's good, but I don't know if you guys are like me. Every time I'm in a new relationship, I avoid saying the word love at all costs. <laughs> Like, we were out at dinner the other night, and she asked me, she's like, oh, my God, I love these tacos. What do you think? And I'm like, uh, I respect these tacos. <laughs> I'm sure I can see myself with these tacos for a long time, but I don't, I don't want to jump to that word just yet, to be quite honest with you, okay? How about we work on it, establish some intimacy, and <laughs> we'll get <laughs> to dropping that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to be cool, man. A lot of my friends are cool. They have gauges. Uh, I don't know what gauges are. It's a little hole in your ear where your personality's supposed to be. That's all that is. <laughs> cool thing you can do with gauges, though. If you look through a little hole, you can find somebody better to talk to. It's a great thing. <laughs> do that. It's like the Hubble telescope. You're like, oh, look, somebody with a job. I got to go. You just get out of there. <laughs> Save yourself. Good time. I, uh, I'm, I'm mixed. I'm half Salvadorian, half white. And El Salvador is a country in Central America where there's 100 murders a day. It's the national anthem down there. It's just, ah! <laughs> yeah. I love the news has been pretty crazy recently, and uh, I saw a lot of veterans were unemployed, which I think is a horrible thing, right? But I also think it kind of makes sense, because I feel like it would be kind of hard to interview a veteran, where it's like, under past experience, you just wrote, we did what we had to do. <laughs> <laughs> like 12 times. I don't understand <laughs> what that has to do with working at a Target at all. I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I was also, I was watching this documentary recently about drug smugglers, and it showed them shoving drugs up their ass to sneak through security, and I realized, like, wow, that's how good drugs are, right? It'll make men get over the lane homophobia. <laughs> like beforehand, you're like, I would never shove anything up my ass. Then after one on a coke, you're like, sexuality is a spectrum. So, <laughs> you're like, love is love, and Pedro's shit is fire. We gotta get it over here. <laughs> make some shit occur. <laughs> oh man. I um, trying to. G I had to move back to my mom's house recently. And that's always the worst. Right? Especially when all the neighbors come up to you and it's like, so how long are you back in town for? You're like, just until the podcast works out, just to tell. <laughs> Should be any second now, really. Should be <laughs> together. Uh, no, I love my mom. She's, she's deaf. That's a, that's a real thing about my life. And uh, growing up, I didn't think that was weird, you know, because my mom's deaf, all of her friends were deaf. I just thought all women couldn't hear. That's, that's how it works. 
<laughs> I did it for the longest time. So remember, I went to my friend's house and I saw his mom get here for the first time, and it felt like someone unveiling the new iPhone. I was like, "Holy shit! You can do what now? <laughs> He's got voice commands. That's amazing!" You know, I felt like an old man who was pissed off at modern technology. I was like, "God damn it! When I was a kid, moms were deaf. Okay, <laughs> you want to talk to your mom? You rolled up your sleeves and used your hands. That's what you did." <laughs> But no, my mom's deaf, my dad's hearing, and growing up they used to argue all the time in sign language, and that's the saddest game of charades <laughs> you will ever see in your goddamn life. Like, you ever seen a grown man have to mime his way out of an argument? My dad would just come home like, I work all damn day with these hands! <laughs> and now I gotta use it to fight with you? <laughs> Something's a dream, and get in my car! <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, you don't take everybody. I got a couple questions for you. So your mom is deaf. Right. Yeah, she can't hear. What a unique upbringing. How what was that <laughs> like? like? You know, you use your hands to talk. So you, you know, you know sign language. I do. Yeah, I know sign language. So yeah, have yeah. you ever thought about being one of those interpreters on stage for people? Or? Uh, I thought. I thought. So that was kind of always like the backup career. Right. People are like, you should always do that. But I think on some level, I just didn't want to hang out with people like my mom all day, so I never did. <laughs> sure, I just yeah, didn't no. get into it professionally. Yeah, and I mean, I don't do like scientist comedy. That shit would suck. Yeah, I know. So yeah. you're like, I don't want to. I don't want to. It was always too much validation. Yeah. To be like, well, you know what, mom? I'd like to talk to you <laughs> sort of professionally. <laughs> No. Right, so, yeah. I mean, I mean, is there a market for, like, ASL comedy, even? Is it? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure if someone could crack into it, there would be, but uh, I, I've never thought about that. I, I was just talking about, like, if you were silent and translating. Yeah, like, yeah right. Yeah. Aziz Ansari has that great bit about jizz everywhere. That's a, that's sign language comedy. That's some crossover shit right, right yeah, there. Right, yeah, yeah. You could, yeah, they do yeah, get that. Yeah, that's the Despacito. Come, come everywhere is pretty universal. Come everywhere. I'm not right. going to do my Aziz Ansari impression because it's bad. You're also you're also half Salvadorian, right? Right, she's that's her. She's also that's her from Salvador. How did your parents meet? Uh, they met at a library in San Francisco. In San Francisco? Are you from? You're not from San Francisco. I was born there, but I grew up in North Carolina. So it's like San Francisco is super expensive. It is, you're right. Right. So it was like move, they, uh, a lot of my family moved from El Salvador to San Francisco, and they're like, we can live through a civil war, but we can't handle how expensive this is. We're like, we surrender. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, this is a little <laughs> fucking much. This house so, has no windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so then they moved to North Carolina because. All the way across the country, though. Yeah, they just knew some of them. Like, my, my dad's grandparents lived there. Oh, is there is there a Salvadorian community in North Carolina? There's, we live there. You, you're, you're <laughs> yeah. Kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, but so, so you said you recently moved back home in your set as well? No, that was, uh, yeah. no, I mean, that was a joke from forever. It's, uh, it's a lie. Yeah, yeah, no, I grew <laughs> up there, wild. but uh, I moved to Chicago like two years ago. I don't know. Oh. And since then, how's it, how's it been? You just great, man. I love Chicago. Yeah. It's great. It's a nice yeah. comedy city, huh? Great, yeah. yeah I love Chicago. Also, something you did, you said you walk dogs for a living. Uh, that was something I used to do that I don't used do anymore. Do. So I don't you know do if you notice the trend of my jokes. I don't do <laughs> this shit anymore. You're wrong. Yeah, yeah, my life has moved on. <laughs> the writing is not. So, uh, yeah. I feel the same way. That right. Like three years. For sure. But you walked dogs for a living. So did, did you walk, or you used to, did you walk them on, like, WAG or something? Yeah, just, that's what I did. That was your whole living? No, it was, like, a part-time thing. Well, part-time thing. Fuck. That's the end of that. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got nothing for that. Yeah, but okay, well, joke. here's the last one I got. Reddit. Reddit. Oh, just, just huh? question, question mark. Question mark? Reddit. I yeah, I think uh, I think if you use Reddit a lot, you're probably an unstable individual. Yeah, that's kind of, that's yeah, kind of my I take do. up there. What a thing. Yeah, what I else? use Reddit a lot. Uh, I think it's a fun. What, it's mainly a dude website. It is a dude website. It's uncomfortably a dude website. Yeah. There's some, but there's there's cool shit. And there's a lot of cool shit. I think I think that it gives you like the anonymity to be able to just like be super masculine, not masculine, but you know, be super masculine like are you masculine. No, you're I'm super not masculine. masculine why would you I'm, just go to the gym? And I'm not it? masculine ever, but I will say that on Reddit I get toxic as shit. You get toxic on Reddit. Yeah, dude, because like, I can what, say whatever what, the fuck what, I want. What subreddit to you? I'm not gonna tell you because I, tell I, I I got a Reddit to be private. <laughs> <laughs> Open relationships. Tell me about that. Uh, this one person I was seeing for a while asked me who I want to be with, and I was like, absolutely. Absolutely not. Why not? Yeah. Uh, just because, I don't, like, I, well, I go into the bit, well, it just didn't really make any sense to me. It's also, like, it's very particular what's open, right? Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, oh, only the sexes. 
Where yeah. it's like, I'd like to tap out when it's like, we're going to go meet her parents. Like, if I could just yeah. walk in <laughs> and everybody else gets to do the rest, that'd be, I'd be fine with yeah. that. Let's, no. do, let's open up some parts of it where I get to, you know, if someone else goes, do something. They can go Thanksgiving. I don't need to go. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get tap in someone else for that. Too many emotions. Too jealous. Too much It's also jealous. just, it doesn't, whenever, like, people defend that, they always bring up, like, animals and shit. You ever heard that? They'd be like, well, most animals are, like, in Parliament. It's like, yeah, but they're fucking birds. Yeah, exactly. They don't, they don't have thoughts. They don't have nuanced relationships yeah. with people. So they're not, yeah. They're not jealous. Do birds get jealous? I don't think so. You don't think birds get jealous? Yeah. They can say some shit. They, they can't, they can't feel say. That shit. Right, I don't know. So. Yeah. Well, everybody, this was Kenny to Demchek. You can check out his show at the Laugh Factory every Sunday. It's called Derailed. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah thanks for having me.